So y'all know what time it is. We're back for another video. We're gonna do another unboxing, but not only an unboxing, we're gonna be doing an unboxing, a setup, and a review of a new product. And that, as you saw me earlier have it in my hand, that is for the Mars Light Gun and IR Station for the Xbox One. Shout out to Performance Design Products, PDP, for sending this out to me. One of the early influencers that get to use it, so I am incredibly happy and excited to be able to review this. I got to try it at E3 and I thought it was amazing. It was, it really brought me back to the days when we had House of the Dead and Time Crisis and Virtua Cop. And what we're gonna do in this video is we're going to unbox it, like I said, set it up and review it. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna do something a little more in depth and different than what we normally do because I'm gonna have it showing you how I'm using it and also capturing it on my Xbox One so that you can see it side by side and you have an idea as to what I'm doing and how it looks when it's set up and everything in between. So there's you know no questions or room for error. And if, well, I mean, honestly, if you have any questions, just, just drop them down below or hit me up on social media. All those links are, they're all right here. But uh, with that being said, you're probably wondering who I am. I'm Mikhail Casanova, Hawaii's favorite YouTuber and host of the number one podcast in the state of Hawaii, the Casanova Podcast. And with that being said, if you guys are ready to do it, I'm ready to do it. Let's go ahead and get on into this unboxing setup and review of Mars by PDP. Roll the intro. So we're going to go ahead and get into the Voyage of the Dead version of the Mars with the Lycon and IR station. And we've got two additional Lycons on both sides of the product here. So we're going to go ahead and open up the main item and then we're going to go into each individual ones. So with this one, got our trusty box cutter open. And as I always say, go away from yourself, that way you don't cut yourself. Before I even get to opening it. This is a box. This is a Voyage of the Dead edition for Xbox One. As you can see, it comes with a Lycon and an IR base station. This is what it looks like on the side. This is Mars, so it's a unique at home arcade experience that lets you play with up to four players on the same TV screen with advanced IR technology capable with all types of TVs and projectors. You can start a solo mission or play with a friend right from the comfort of your own home. So it's pretty cool. I got to try it at E3, like I said earlier. And this is uh, Voyage of the Dead. This is really cool. And then this is the base station and the main uh, light con. So, with that out the way, we're going to go ahead and get on into the box. The quick start manual. You can see here and comes with the wrist wrap the base station the light con and the USB cord and you just plug it directly into your Xbox one the light con uses two AA batteries and then you make sure your base station is pointed at the TV and then uh, this is code for the games which I'm going to be using and then your laser safety information so pretty cool this is the code for voyage of the dead and this is the code for cubits quest now as we lift this and get this out the way this is your base station so this needs to be pointing towards your TV or projector or your monitor so that it can see where you're aiming at or working in collaboration with the light cons. Here's the little pamphlet of information which lets you know you can tilt this up and down and how you can pivot it around. So you can pivot it like that, like so. So I'm going to put that off to the side. And you've got the USB cable which connects to it. And this is a micro USB which plugs into here 
like so. And then from there, you plug that into your Xbox via USB. And this is the Litecon. Really, really lightweight, very durable, feels good in the hands. This is the button on the back. This is your shoot. This is how you reload. And that's what it looks like. So this is, this is your Lycon. And it's got the strap. So just kind of like if you're used to like the Wii modes or the Joy-Cons of a uh, Nintendo Switch, then you can, you know, put it on your wrist. There you go. So if you want to dangle it, you can. If you want to make sure it doesn't fall out of your hand. Because accidents can happen. We're going to go with this one just because I'm going to leave this one for a display. This is uh, one of the additional light cons. But I'm going to unbox this one. This one's seen a little bit of a better day. I think just because the package was uh, a bit banged up from FedEx. But uh, I'm going to just go ahead and unbox this one. And it showcases all the games that are available. So Big Buck Hunter, Arcade, Cubist Quest, Voyage Hunter, or Voyage of the Dead. And then just lets you know you just aim at your targets and whatnot. It tells you what you need here. And that's that. So we'll get this again. Move this over and we're gonna go ahead and get this box open. So this is more information about the Mars light gun. So this functions with both the Xbox One and PS4. And more information. And then here is the second light gun. <laughs> I'm doing this for camera effect, but you know the old golden eye first person shooter bobble when you're moving, like Doom style. But yeah. These are two. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get these set up. So setting up the Mars unit is incredibly simple because all you need to do is take the Mars IR camera and then take the micro USB cable that it comes with and then you're going to plug it into here in the front. And then from there, you're gonna plug the other end right here into your console. So any available USB slot, it can be on the front, it can be on the back. It doesn't really matter. You're just gonna plug it in and go from there. And that's really all you need to do. And then uh, setting up your controllers, which is really simple. Now, the one thing about the Mars IR camera that you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna set this somewhere in your room, be it uh, by your couch where you're sitting or directly in front of your TV. It needs to be set up in a way that it can see the entirety of your screen, your projector, your monitor, whatever you're using to project the image. It needs to be able to see both the center and all four corners. And once it's configured at that point, all you've got to do is just take one of the light cons and then it'll take your light con and you can just go from there. It's literally one of the simplest ways to set up any type of light gun connectivity. So, you know, let's go ahead and get this set up and uh, Let's start. All right, so the three games that come with the Mars unit that I was provided are Cubist Quest, Voyage of the Dead, and Big Buck Hunter Arcade. Now, I'm gonna go through a little brief synopsis of each one, that way you get an idea as to what to expect going forward. Now, with Voyage of the Dead, that's just classic House of the Dead. I mean, think of House of the Dead Overkill to get the idea of what it's like. It's a, it's a House of the Dead style shooter, but it doesn't take itself too seriously, kind of similar to how Overkill didn't and it just pokes fun at itself here and there. It's a good all-around shooter that you can play solo or with people. I mean, up to four people is really fun. Me and my wife, we got to play it and we had an absolute blast playing it. You know, you go through, you shoot the zombies, definitely try to go for the headshots. You could probably beat the game within half an hour to an hour, given or take how quickly you are able to defeat the bosses and different enemies. I mean, once you get the shotgun, make sure you line up all your enemies and get them out of the way with one blast. And when you get your second weapon, 
Save that ammo and that weapon for boss battles. It, just trust me, it, it's going to be a lot easier and a lot simpler for you if you were to do that. But yeah, I mean, the game has a lot of replayability, not for the arcade slash story mode, but for the mini games that it comes with. It's got about four, three to four different mini games you can play. You know, one that's like a pinball game where you shoot the ball that moves around. Another is kind of like a duck hunt in a way, you know, where you've got the, in this case, you've got aliens coming through. You just shoot the ship down, kind of like duck hunt. Then you got one where you need to figure out if you need to kill all the zombies around a certain particular zombie or kill, you know, certain groups of zombies or what have you, you know, or if you need to just kill everybody and just, just do it within the time frame or as they're moving across the screen. So there's a very variety of things. I mean, there's even one where you're, it's called tee off in a way, because basically you're you gotta aim the gun, you gotta press and hold the the trigger, aim it, and let the meter go up, and you're basically punting the zombie's head onto any of these platforms that land out in the water. And I mean, it's fun. I don't know if I'd play it all the time, but it, it is a fun game to play. As far as Voyage of the Dead is concerned, there is several characters you can unlock. I believe up to three additional four characters, which you unlock via the mini games that you can play outside of the main story. So that's the way you can unlock them. And I mean, each character has their pros and cons. I mean, I always play the detective because he kind of reminds me of Eddie Murphy in a way. And uh, it's just, he's just hilarious. I mean, even you could even go so far as to say he reminds you of like Kevin Hart because he's just got those funny, hilarious lines that he always likes to make. And it's just, it's just hilarious. Now, one downside about Voyage of the Dead I will bring up is the fact that this game, as great as it is, it suffers slowdown, and I don't understand why it suffers slowdown, so what I did was install the game on my external hard drive, and I was experiencing the slowdown. When I moved it over to my internal drive on my Xbox One X, I still got slowdown, so I'm not sure if that's something that can be fixed with an update or whatnot, but, uh, you know, it, it's, it's there. It does break the immersion, and then the other thing that I found to be a bit of an issue that really got on my nerves was the jumpiness of the accuracy of the aiming because you'll see a reticle which lets you know where you're aiming and sometimes it's smooth when it works it works but then there are times when the reticle kind of just skips skip 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 skips all over the screen and then you have to pause the game and recalibrate which fixes it and then you know it happens again and I'm just not sure why it does that on that game but it's a bit of a problem the second game that's available that I have to review is Cubic's Quest. Now this is a fun little game. Like honestly, I'd say this is probably the goat out of all three. But it's a side-scrolling or third person at a time scrolling adventure platformer shooter. So think point blank and uh, you can go from there. So with that being said, like Cubit, he's this little robot that just, you know, he's a little robot dog and he's just going about you know his business and what you're doing is he's player one or if you got a second person to play with like I have my wife play with me it's gonna be going along and then with the light con the back button is jump and then you can shoot um, different objects that if you need them to come around and go up to where Cupid is or if you have the enemies throwing you know projectiles at you you want to shoot them down or if there are enemies in the way or if there are objectives where you need to shoot them and get them out of the way then that's where this comes into play and this honestly Cubit's Quest is to me the most expressive form of Mars it's the one where the accuracy is on the point it had no slowdowns it had no graphical issues and it just ran smooth. I enjoyed it. You know, I enjoyed it. My wife Lehua enjoyed it. And we just had a blast playing it. I mean, it's something, of course, your finger gets tired after a while playing these games. But we had an absolute blast playing Cubist Quest. Like, it was the most fun, even more fun than Voyage of the Dead. And, you know, that may not be for everyone, but that's just how we felt about it. And then there's so many unlockables and things you can do in Cubist Quest where I think that's going to be the game you're gonna keep coming back to time and time and time and time again. Now there's another game which is the final game in this collection of three that were sent to me for review and uh, Big Buck Hunter Arcade. 
Now look, I've never been a fan of the Big Buck series, and I didn't really enjoy it. I mean, it really at all. I think this is absolutely the worst game on the Mars platform that I've played, and I, I didn't enjoy any aspect of it. Hit detection was terribly off. I mean, the music was annoying. I didn't, I didn't find anything about that game fun. And honestly, if you're gonna pick up the Mars unit, which I, I, I highly suggest you do pick up the Mars unit, just get two games that are available out of the three, and then that's gonna be the Voyage of the Dead and Cubist Quest. But Cubist Quest first, then Voyage of the Dead. Big Buck Hunter Arcade, you can just skip that. I, I personally, I, I don't even recommend it at all. It's just not a fun game to me. I, I didn't enjoy it at all. All right, so wrapping all that up, putting a little bow on top and, and, and seeing whether this is a platform you need to buy or you need this, I'm just gonna say it like honestly the Mars unit is hands down something that you 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 need this because you got a PlayStation 4 you got an Xbox one and you got that itching to, to play the games where we had light guns and we were just like pow, pow, pow. you know you know we used to play light guns like duck hunt and forcer and whatnot and you miss those days even if you're not going back that far if you're going to go back as far as like time crisis house of the dead you know the terminator arcade games and the ramble arcade games if you want to have that type of experience again then the mars unit is definitely the best way to go and it's the cheapest alternative to going full vr because we can get all this with vr but the price of entry is just it's insanely high like playstation vr you gotta drop 200 bucks on it not including the games not including whether or not sony because they're they're notorious for not fully supporting platforms aside from the playstation itself I mean, look at what they do with the vita plug it in let it calibrate itself and then start you know pair your controller and then start playing honestly the mars unit to me is you must buy this. You need this. Whether it's Cubit's Quest or whether it's Voyage of the Day, you're gonna have an absolute blast. I just don't recommend Big Buck Hunter at all. I'm curious to see what additional games will be coming to the platform from various publishers because I'd love to see, you know, Ben and Amco resurrect the Time Crisis series with it. Um, I'd love to see Sega do something with House of the Dead. You know, I, I've heard that that's gonna be coming to the Switch, but. I would like to see what they're going to do with it overall. I think the Mars unit is really cool and I think there's a lot of potential with it. So with that being said, what do you guys think? Why don't you go ahead and let me know down in the comment section below. Do you have the Mars unit from PDP or are you looking to pick it up? Do you have a pre-order? Whatever way you sway, let's go ahead and get the conversation going down below. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with someone you like, and then you know, comment. Let's get the conversation going. If you want to pick one of these up, if you haven't pre-ordered already, links for it are down below in the description. So if you want to pick it up, I got my Amazon affiliate links, which I get a kickback if you were to pick it up through there. And uh, yeah, that being said, that's it. That's all I got to say. Uh, I enjoy it. I think you would like it. I think this is solid and dope. Amazing build quality. And two, uh, three games available for it are really, really great. And especially Cubit's Quest. That's the one I absolutely love. So, you know, other than that, I catch you on the next video. Catch you guys on the next one. Deuce as well. Too sweet. Be the elite. And I'll see you on the next one.